Hey guys, what's up? It's Lonnie. I am coming to you to give you a wig review. This is my favorite wig. I buy this wig over and over as often as I need to. I never want to be without this wig. It is so dramatic and full and very sexy. It is the Harlem 125 Swiss Lace Wig. It is in the color 1B and the unit name is FLS11. As you can see, she's super full. She looks great. A lot of body, soft, beachy, wave, messy hair. Perfect for nights out. And the way she has her tossed at that party, you can just toss it over. It looks so beautiful. So it comes in this packaging. I get it from my local beauty supply store when I'm really, really, really like in need of it. Like today is Thursday. I want to wear it tomorrow night. So I went to the beauty supply store to buy her. Um, and I always haggle the price at the beauty supply store. I never pay full price for anything in there. Um, so she comes just like this with the net. And again, the color 1B. She looks pretty dark, right? All right. So I'm gonna take the net off and I'll show you how she got, how she looks right out the pack. She is beautiful. I love this messy, messy curl, right? So she, look at all that parting space there and There are two combs right at the front by the temples, two combs there. And in the back, there's the one comb. I'm gonna cut that tag off now because we don't need a pink tag at the back of our wig. So she does have like little baby hairs at the back in case you wanted to do a lot of work to pull her up. I'm not doing that much work. Um, but again, it just comes with a tag on her. Cutting that tag off now as well. And, uh-oh. And I just have my hair braided back. I just put some edge control on my edges. And I'm, I have to personalize the wig, but I just want to show you how she looks right when I put her on out the pack. I haven't even cut the lace off, but what I'll do is I will show you also how I personalize this wig because she does have those like really dense hairline the hairline is so dense so i'm just going to adjust her a little bit move it back move that cap back with her and i'll go off camera do some plucking and what i meant was i love the way you can kind of just toss her to the side like that that's Truly, look how you can just toss her and see. You still have like the scalp showing. Let me just toss it to the side. Now let me just move back a little bit. So you guys can see how long she is. But she is absolutely beautiful. I love this wig. So as you can see, she looks great. What I do is I put her on a mannequin head and I take my tweezers and I'll just pluck the entire hairline until it's a lot thinner and more natural looking. I'll add some baby hairs that I can glue down and then she looks 
amazing. And once she gets all big and tangled, you can always flat iron her or deep condition her and curl her up. But yeah, this is like my favorite wig of all time. So I'm going to show you guys while I pluck her and personalize her. And then I'll be back to show you the finished product with the baby hairs, the lace cut, looking all great. So thank you guys for um, hanging out with me. I'm gonna cut to the part where I start to pluck and then we'll be back to see how she looks at the very end, right? She's already super sexy, but I'm gonna play it up a bit. All right, be right back. Okay, so I have the mannequin. I have the wig up on the mannequin head. And I have some hair clips. And I'm gonna take this and just clip there and clip there. Now I'm going to use my tweezers and start plucking the hair around the hairline. So it looks a lot more natural. As you can see, we're already making a little bit of progress. See how that looks a little bit better? This side is really, this side, you pull it back versus this side. You see what I'm saying? Look at the difference. Right here, especially. Yeah. So we're gonna keep going, taking the tweezers. Just randomly getting that hair out of here. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, and you can see how I kind of finished it off. You can see it's a lot more natural looking. Um, it takes a while to kind of perfect it. So once I have it on, I might want to pluck it a bit more, but we'll see after I apply it. So I've also separated the parts that I know I want to have as baby hair from the wig. So I'm going to take a razor. This is just an eyebrow razor from the beauty supply store. And I'm gonna cut them. And I'm actually gonna cut them pretty long so that I can cut them again once I have them on, once I have the wig on. And now I am going to show you how I apply the wig. Move the camera up. Now to apply the wig, you're going to need the got to be, this is the yellow blasting free spray. And this is the got to be styling spiking glue. Now this is just a hair gel usually used by people to spike their hair. So I'm gonna apply this to my edges. And I just got my hair cornrowed, so I'm going to apply this 
to my edges just using my hand. And this will apply right on the edge. This will protect my hair because again, it's just glue. I'm sorry, not glue. It's just hair gel. I'm gonna apply it all over the front of my hair. And that'll protect my edges. And next, I'm going to apply it a little bit further down on my forehead. This gives the stocking cap and the wig some adhesive. All right, so I'm gonna take the hairspray. And you also are gonna need a blow dryer. And it doesn't need to be dry. It needs to be tacky. I'm going to now put on my stocking cap and I'm gonna put it down low because we're gonna cut the edge off. And I'm sure if you're even watching this video, you've seen all this done before. So I'm going to take some more glue. So the wig will stick to the stocking cap. And so the stocking cap will stick to my hairline. Because we wanna cut off that band. That band we don't wanna use. And I'm gonna dry that a little bit more. Dry that, as you can see, it's super tacky. And I'm now going to cut the band off. I'm gonna add a little more got to be glue to the front and the free spray. take my wig lace not the edge of the lace the edge of the hairline right where I want it you want to make sure you get it exactly where you want it and I'm gonna be looking down at my mirror and unfortunately I'm not gonna look at you guys right now so I'm doing the right thing and showing you my right technique Let's cut the lace off of this wig. All right, so I am, what I did a little bit 
don't kill me, but off camera, I took my makeup kit and I just touched up the scalp. And I also took my Edge Effect Edge Control and a toothbrush just to get the baby hairs that I wanted on this wig. I was gonna bring some of that hair down there. Right there. Let's get back a little bit. 